Always look at me. Hi, this is Bob Rubart from the Oracle Technology Network, and the woman staring at me is Lonica Diekman. She's an Oracle Asia Director from the Netherlands, and she's a SOA and middleware specialist. So, Lonica, talk to me about the most interesting project that you've been involved with since last Open World. Right. Um, I think the most interesting thing I'm doing right now is a project for the uh, Dutch uh, justice systems. They are moving from a traditional Oracle Forms environment, which is still on 4.5 in some cases, so character-based, really you know, old-fashioned, and having paper files to a completely digitized modern architecture using SOA and BPM. I've been involved with that project. So it's more like a program, right? Because it's a big change. And it's not just a change from the IT point of view, but also for the people involved, because it's a completely new way of working. And I started there uh, last December. So for six months now. So your involvement in this is as much as an enterprise architect, as a technical architect. Right. It's They have the enterprise architect is, is residing at the business and they have a separate department that's doing all the development. So I'm the lead uh, architect uh, for the applications there. So the custom development of the, uh, of the IT systems. And how is this project progressing? Well, there's a, they, they, uh, they started out... Um, replacing old systems, but after replacing the first system, they noticed that doesn't really work very well because what you end up doing is uh, rebuilding what you already have and it doesn't really fit the new way of working, right? Because, you know, if you have character-based interface and paper files, that's a completely different way of working from having a graphical user interface and having digital files and having, you know, process uh, support. So they changed the strategy from replacing system by system to um, implementing uh, process by process, so end-to-end -end processes, and uh, we're going to be live with the first end-to-end -end process October 1st, so it's a bit of a uh, uh, bad timing to be at Open World right now, to be honest. <laughs> well, and it sounds to me, too, like there's as much, uh, uh, there are technical challenges as well as organizational challenges in this kind of transformation. Uh, definitely, so organizational and architectural and from a project management standpoint, too. Because if you have big silos for... Because they used to have an application in every courthouse. So there would be a silo for that specific courthouse. And now they want to reuse functionality and they, they want to uh, be able to uh, access data from different locations. So it's also from an architectural point of view, but also from a project management point of view, a complete change for them. So it's a huge endeavor for the whole organization. So it's, uh, we try to to have a more agile approach and to incrementally develop the new things and not do everything, you know, in one big bang scenario, but we try to make small steps. Is, it, is this a fully on-premise endeavor or there is, is there some cloud computing involved in this? Um, actually, most of it is, is, uh, is on-premise. Um, they have a couple of packaged apps, though, where we, uh, that we share with the uh, Justice Department and also some uh, that are, uh, you, you know, some services that are used by the whole country. So we do need in to interact with services that are off-premise, but the whole uh, uh, IT systems that are owned by the justice uh, departments are, are on-premise. So I suspect that you're probably doing a couple of sessions here at Open World. What are you going to be talking about? Well, I've, I already did one that was about uh, user experience patterns. Um, which is, I think, very important. And, and we see the same thing at the uh, Justice uh, Department, that it's really important that your system supports the tasks of the user and not necessarily shows the you know, data model or process model uh, that you use to implement it. And on Wednesday, we actually have an, an interesting session, I think. It's about uh, fusion middleware uh, development. I'm doing that with Lucas Jellema and uh, Ronald van Lutkhuis and Simon Haslam. And we'll show an end-to-end -end application where we implemented a end-to-end uh, -end process and we show the different building blocks, so ADF, uh, BPM, SOA, and uh, uh, some infrastructure. And uh, we did this session before at some user groups where we had three hours and we would build it from scratch. But we cannot do that in an hour, obviously. So now we show you the completed imp application and do some changes uh, on the fly. You'll just be talking a lot faster during this session. <laughs> well, I try to talk slowly, but there's so much I can say, right? So, 
and, 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 and in, in terms of the user experience, and uh, since you brought this issue up, in, in, in with regard to this Justice Department project you're involved in, is there is there any mobile involvement here? Yes. Well, it's a, it's a very uh, interesting use case, I think, because at the one hand, it's a perfect use case for, for example, an iPad for, you know, if you're a judge and you're, you're preparing your case file, you want to read it at home or in the train or, you know, stuff like that. But then there's the security issue. So what we don't want is that, the, you know, the judge reading his file and then leave the iPad and his kid sends it accidentally to his friends, for example, right? Because, you know, iPads are shared typically uh, at home. So, so they're really looking into the security aspects of that. And uh, 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 th there's also some talk about, you know, more mobile apps on your phone. But I, I don't see the, you know, instant use cases there yet. I'm sure they will pop up, but mostly it's iPad. Yeah, I think I might be angry if I had to serve jail time because the judge's kid lost my file on his iPad. <laughs> yes. Well, and to be honest, you know, you have that problem too with paper files, right? Because you can leave them lying around or in a train or something like that. But, you know, it's, it's still very important, I think, to have some solution where you can mix the consumer type of use of your device with the business type of use. Yeah. Well, thanks for taking time to talk to me. I know you've got an incredibly busy schedule here at Open World, but uh, uh, enjoy yourself. Well, thank you. It was my pleasure. This is Bob Rubart once again for the Oracle Technology Network. Uh, hang around the Oracle Technology Network YouTube channel for more videos from Oracle Open World.